You know who's holding the camera right now? My client. I'll prove it. It's true. It's true. It's true. The coolest client ever. Right. Holding hey, the camera. Check this out, guys. I'll prove that he's a cool client right now. Come over here. Alright. Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you cool off after working. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> awesome. Well, Alright, we gotta get back to Are you cool? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Good. So you always make sure, especially the first time you're doing a job for a client, make sure you you know you gotta cool off it's hot out here, right? <laughs> Are you the first time though. You gotta really make a good first impression. <laughs> Be professional. Awesome. <laughs> Mentor, Mr. William Ellen, Young Master's Tree Service. You don't like being videotaped, but you don't have a choice now. Sweet. This is a stay in the house. You doing know, good? They've been waiting to see you. Don't record me right now. I uh, see. I told. I told you guys. You don't like being on camera. He's like the uh, the mystic master. Some guy ran out of gas this morning, so I dumped on my mix in his car. Well, I got some mix. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, yeah. William Elling is really the boss man when it comes to tree trimming, tree removals, anything that's my scope of skill. Where I'm at right now, um, I mean, I, I bring him in and pay him whatever he wants. Seeing this guy take down 80 foot cot tree, two of them, and they're in a half. Dude. This guy so safe and so precise and so alert. He was literally born in a tree. I trust him literally with my life. I've seen him do phenomenal things, and he's not afraid to to yell down and shout and shock somebody to being aware and safe or on the ground. He takes it very seriously, and he's a total professional. Uh, he's definitely my mentor. Right. Some more. More. Here, uh, trimming up some trees on this property for a client with the still combi multi head attachment. It's the big dog, it's the KM130R. I think it was 399 bucks, and then you get all the attachments for about 250 bucks each. See how long it is. The center attachment is actually an extension. They're about a hundred bucks a piece. I have three of them. Still only recommends it and says you should only put on one or they will avoid your because it's extraordinary and damaging on the or on the trimmers. But I mean if you could you could trim up, you know, something fifteen feet up in the air from the ground, you don't even need this big crazy arborist orchard ladder. It's worth it to me if it breaks because it's the profits a lot higher. Than trimming tall shrubs, you know, stuff like that that the average guy can't reach. The amount of energy and time it takes to keep restarting a saw to save a little gas, you lose gas. I mean, you lose money and time. Watch this. Yeah. That's what an arborist ladder does.
uh, ornamental tree trimming. It's not really an ornamental tree, it's just a autumn blaze maple, but the customer wants it nice and sculpted, so I tell him, hey, let's make it look like, you know, a lollipop. That type of terminology, when you trim it, shape it, thin it, prune it, elevate it, and sculpt it, it looks like a lollipop. And they love their trees looking nice and manicured, especially um, elevated and nice and shaped, so it looks better than any tree. And a lot of uh, certified arborists might argue that that's not a great thing to do because... You know, it's bad for the tree or whatnot, and it does stimulate a lot of growth. I'm not a certified arborist, but, I mean, we trim trees all the time. But just because, you know, I'm trimming them doesn't mean I really know the exact science behind, you know, the biology of what I'm doing. I admit that. And I'm not at all opposed to, in the winter months, you know, going to a university and get, becoming a certified arborist by the ISA. I'm excited to do that. Unless you're extremely physically fit and you do this all the time, it takes, uh, it's like lifting weights without stopping. It's extremely physically hard. Man, you want to uh, entertain some peeps? No, I'm not.